Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Tom Aspelin. I am working for TV7 Finland. And it's your first time here in Kenya. Yeah, this is my first time in Kenya and it is my first time when I see the Prophet Aguar meeting. And what have you witnessed here in Kenya? I have been witnessing uh, biblical miracle signs and wonders happening. And people who are crippled started walking and get rid of those sticks mm -hmm. and uh, all kind of equipment. Yes. I saw the pile of uh, walking sticks yes. and, and different kind of support uh, equipment for people who were crippled. Yes. And the pile was like very high. Because <laughs> the people, they instantly got healed at the meeting and they just gave it away. They yeah. didn't need it anymore. This is very, very powerful what we have seen. So we have revival in here. That's awesome. I hope we will get the revival to Europe, in Germany, to Finland, every country in Europe. I saw blind people start getting their eyesight back, and here is one example of them. And I, I, I saw a lot of different kind of things, miracles happening. And in everything, they got the doctor papers from the yeah. people who came, and, and after, before and after. And so there was uh, ambulances and doctors and a lot of uh, hospital people kind of there, there looking at what's happening. And so everything is documented, so it was really awesome. Have you ever seen something like this before? Have you ever seen such a miracle that blind eyes are opening instantly? Well, actually, in this amount of these miracles, first of all, this, I haven't seen so many miracles happening in other meetings where I have been attending and I have been attending many meetings and I have never seen blind people starting to see Hallelujah. That was the first time. That was awesome. And what was very shocking, when the mightiest prophet of the Lord came into the meeting, he did not even pray. He just came into the meeting and Ashley, who was 17 years blind, her eyes started to really uh, start itching and, and opening her, her left eye was able to see light, was able to see colors, was able to see forms. She gave even the white cane, uh, the stick for the blind, she just gave it away. It is a very shocking miracle. We have never seen something like this. Very, very shocking. Yeah, it was very awesome. What can I say? This is really, really awesome. Absolutely. And we really need to have this mighty revival also in our continent, in Europe. Yeah, the, the glory of God that, that was in, in the presence of God, the glory of God was also, we could sense them in the streets, yes. outside of the meeting place. So it was very awesome. And uh, I think there is there's going to be awesome revival, but you have to invite Prophet to come to your place. Yes. And, and when you invite, you will get that revival to your country. So now we need this mighty miracle also in our nations in Europe, in Finland, in Netherlands, in Germany, in Italy. So we need to run to the to the mightiest prophets of the Lord and ask that 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 the Lord will send the prophet of the Lord to our nation. What can you say to this for Finland, for your nation, for Europe? For Europe, I would say that invite the prophet, approach him, come and see and invite him and you will get your revival. What you are looking for, I know that many people want, want it, so, so it's good. Yes, this is the mighty biblical wonders of our time and we need this also in Europe because of course we can see that in Europe we need also this mighty message. You were also in the mighty international conference yesterday. What can you tell us about what you have seen yesterday and what you want to tell us? Well, I think the Prophet had a message about eternity and it was a very important message for everybody to, to hear. And, uh, and that message, I think, is the key for the revival. Absolutely. And even yesterday, many healings happened. It's really shocking. It was not even a healing service. It was a pastor's conference and even there we heard the announcement of a cripple can walk and HIV AIDS is here. It's, it's, it's a very, very mighty time in the church. Yeah, it was really awesome. It was a glorious meeting. It was a really glorious meeting. 
Halleluja. Do you want to give us your final words? Is there anything you want to say to people in Finland, in Germany, in Europe? Do you want to tell them anything? Well, I would say that that uh, I, I have seen many people around the world uh, talking about revival and, and asking God, praying God for revival. I think you in here we have seen that revival and and the keys of revival is taught by prophet. So so I recommend for you that this uh, prophet of work and and I recommend you to come and and, and hear him. Absolutely, it's very important for our eternity because we can see the end time, we can see the prophet of the Lord even prophesied about the Ukraine war, Russia-Ukraine war, even uh, the Israel war, what's happening in Gaza. It was all prophesied, so we can really see all, all, all his prophecies, all the words he says really come to pass. Yes, yes, that's true, that's true. Thank you very much, the Lord bless you. And may a big revival come to Finland, and to all the nations in Germany, and Italy, Netherlands, Spain, everywhere. Hallelujah, Europe for Jesus. <laughs>